All right, welcome back, folks. So we're on part 13, the extend operator. And as usual, be sure you run over here to aka.ms slash mustlearnkql. Take a look at Rod's uh, content. He knows a lot more about this stuff than I do. Uh, so let's see what we're going to do here with extend. All right, if we take a look at perf data running this query here for the last minute because there's a lot of perf data. Uh, we're pulling back the counter name, computer name, or computer column, and the counter value, which is in megabytes, and then just sorting it by ascending so we can see which machine is we're basically running out of space. So if we use the extend operator, and first let's take a look at the perf table. As you can see here, there's no um, column name free megabytes, free gigabytes, free kilobytes, et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to use the extend operator to create some columns on the fly. One of them is going to be called free KB, and the value is going to be the value of the counter value column multiplied by 1024. So we're just doing some math there to get the KBs in gigabytes for these two columns. The important thing to know here or understand here is these two columns that you're creating on the fly are not stored in the database. So once you run this query, you get back the real time data. Those uh, columns or yeah, columns are no longer accessible. So let's run this one, control or uh, shift enter to run this thing. And you can see here are the three different columns that have been created based off of the math we do with the counter value column that is integrated in the database. So that just gives you a little idea of what you can do with the extend operator, uh, create columns on the fly from data really anywhere. I appreciate you watching and following along, and I'll see you on the next one.